lovebirds, with their charming personalities, can also become quite the vocal companions. While some calls are natural to their happy chirping, there are times, their squawking might become excessive. In this video, we'll explore 5 tips, on how to keep your lovebird quiet. Understanding their chirps. Before we dive into solutions, let's remember that vocalization, is an essential part of a lovebird's life. They chirp, they sing, they squawk. It's their way of talking to each other, and their environment. Here's the thing. Different vocalizations, mean different things. A happy chirp sounds, different from a scared screech. Understanding the types of sounds your lovebird makes can help you determine if there's an underlying cause for their excessive noise. Schedule social time. Lovebirds are social creatures. When they feel neglected or lonely, they tend to vocalize more to get your attention. Dedicate some quality time each day to interact with your feathered friend. Play with them outside their cage, offer them stimulating toys and chat with them in a soothing voice. A loved up lovebird, is a quieter lovebird. Manage their environment. Lovebirds, are stimulated by their surroundings. Loud noises from TVs or radios, can trigger them to chirp louder, to compete. Similarly, bright lights during bedtime, can disrupt their sleep cycle, leading to nighttime serenades. Create a calmer environment. Dim the lights during the evening and keep noise levels down. You can even cover their cage at night, to simulate darkness, and encourage sleep. Address Boredom A bored lovebird, is a vocal lovebird. Provide them with a variety of toys, to keep them mentally stimulated. Rotate their toys regularly, to prevent boredom. Consider foraging toys, that challenge them to find hidden treats. Or shreddable toys, that satisfy their natural chewing instinct. Reward quiet time. Lovebirds are intelligent creatures. You can use positive reinforcement to encourage quieter behavior. When your lovebird is content and quiet, offer them a small treat or a head scratch. This positive association will make them more likely to stay calm in the future. Remember, these are just tips and every lovebird is an individual. It may take some time and patience to find what works best for your feathered friend. If you're concerned about excessive vocalizations, it's always a good idea to consult your veterinarian to rule out any underlying medical issues. By understanding your lovebird's communication and implementing these tips, you can create a more harmonious home for both of you. Remember, a happy lovebird is a quieter lovebird and a peaceful home is a happy home for everyone. Thanks for joining us today. If you have any questions or your own tips to share, leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful bird care content. Until next time, happy chirping.